Hi, this is behind the scenes of the last thing you heard say for the Like This Location competition. A lot of new things actually. This is actually an interesting thing to talk about. This is the little boy we had working on the set. I never worked with a child actor before. This is his first time acting. He knew every single line. He knew the action between the lines, between the dialogue. He knew everybody's dialogue. He knew every character's dialogue. He was so on it with every single thing. And it just like amazed me every time. And it just blew me away. My mouth is twitching. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, this is day one. Uh, this is rehearsal. We're doing a little rehearsal for the last thing the Earth said. Right here, filmed by Trevor Riley. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys enjoy it. it sounds terrifying, tranquil, and musical. Suddenly, in an instant, the sunlight rises, brief as from scene two. An old television set, set is stacked atop an end table in the living room. Another news reporter speaks from a desk. The text on the screen next to him reads, World to end at 12 o'clock. I feel like nothing. We need another 2 by 4 so grab it like that. Good luck. You can't do that, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going to say, we need another 2 by 4 I guess I should have felt everything more when I had the chance and the things that hurt. And as you're like contemplative, you like turn it back on yourself. You know? You're not saying that to him, obviously, because you know? mm -hmm. he doesn't look like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just unloading on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on my Thank drama. I <laughs> yeah. heard you say this line earlier without reading the script, so you know it. Mm -hmm. Shh, listen, everybody, be quiet. Can you hear that? Listen, I, I think the earth is talking. The earth has a funny accent. And then you push through their hands. Go! <laughs> and run out. Yeah. Pretty good. Hey guys, it's the second day of shooting on The Last Thing the Earth Said. Um, today we're doing art direction everything, and yeah. set design, getting everything tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do all the actors, so we're bringing you guys along with us on this journey. Um, a lot goes into it, but it's really good. So. It's awesome making a lot of progress. Hi, my name is Spiros Pasijos. I am the actor, producer, story guy on this film. Hi, my name is Jessica Ann Knopf and I'm the producer on The Last Thing the Earth Said. We worked really hard on this project. Um, it's a five minute short film. We had a great team together. What makes this so special is um, all the artistic people we were able to gather to work on this. Um, you know, the actors, the hair and makeup, the lighting, everybody was all in. And it's really hard to find a special group like that. Um, so that translates into the project. Um, so we're all really excited about it. And, you know, when you have like-minded people in a room, it really makes magic happen. And hopefully you see that through the film. And the hardest part was like the, uh, for us, I think it was the art, art part. We didn't, have, we didn't have an art department, we didn't have an art director, right. uh, so we did it all ourselves and we had to you know, wake up in the morning and get everything and get everything set up before everyone got there. And mm -hmm. At that same time, we were all wearing a bunch of hats where I'm yeah. um, acting, we're producing, and we're also art department, and we're also PAs, we're also yeah. everything that you, know, you have to be. And, uh, and just trying just... to get yourself into that, for me, like get myself into that character after I like, had to set up the whole place, it was pretty interesting. shooting a shot of the uh, light bursting through the ceiling. So we have a piece of uh, drywall, two by two. We're gonna create a hole in it, we're gonna shoot a plate and then create a hole in it. We're shooting
shooting a leak go through that, which we will have a hole. We're shooting that in down here. We're gonna eventually throw shit through it. And uh, so we have the light beaming through. We have our aperture, which I'm going to shoot into the floor, which is gonna kind of create an up bounce. Uh, as if it's light coming uh, towards the ceiling from the room, so this is supposed to be the ceiling. Yeah. Speeding. Go. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Really? Yep. 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 My name is Doug Sampson, uh, producer, EP, LP, and co-writer on The Last Thing You Earth Said. And I'm Colton Curry. I'm the cinematographer and producer on The Last Thing You Earth Said. But as far as lighting and equipment goes. Um, uh, what we used in the film was very high, like, I'd say very high-end equipment. We had, um, a, a, an aperture was a staple. Um, we used, uh, ETC Ricos, we, uh, we had, uh, Chimera, we had, um, uh, we had a red camera we shot in the red, uh, we, we rented some, um, Cook Speed Pancros. We did, uh, we used a lot of K56, like Jolico's, we had a lot of that, uh, coming in, and, uh, we used a lot of, a lot of HMI and, uh, LED, and then actually used a lot of sun coming in, because we wanted that hot sun look, you know, look coming in, so, um, we kind of just played off of that, too. Just to add on to what the, the lighting requirements of this show, um, we wanted it very, very lighting directive. Uh, we wanted to use as much natural light as we could coming in through the windows, but of course we had to augment and really blast as much daylight as we could um, throughout the story in order to kind of increase the intensity of the story itself. Uh, and as you can see in the end too, um, when, our, when our young boy, our talent, is approaching the window, he, he starts to, there starts to become these, these blasts of rays of light that kind of start running through the ceiling and such. And um, the idea is there is that, you know, like, we, we're starting to have we're starting to have daylight break through the like the roof of the house and through different areas of the house. So we wanted to be able to really accentuate on that. And so um, in those moments, we did use uh, light bar techniques. Like we built light bars on either sides, and we used ETC Legos to be timed properly for when our talent was crossing through that they'd be bursting through into the frame and then um, just in general we wanted to just be increasing the intensity of the light as we're moving through the project just to kind of show the element that the, the, that the daylight on the outside of the house even though we're boarding it up and trying to block it is still ever present and it's still coming into the house whether we want it to be or not.